this short video we're going to have a look at uh, using Git and GitLab in the School of EECS with Android Studio. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new Android Studio project. I'm going to give the project a name, just Android Git to get started. And I'll just choose the default options and finish the creating the project. And we can see down here in my folder, I can see that the, the project has been created. Look at that later. And what I want to do next is go back to while well, that's building. I'm going to go back to GitLab and I'm going to go in here and create a new project in GitLab. I'm going to call it Android Git as well and I'm going to create it as a private project. So I've created that project and I've got the instructions here and the actual address I need for uh, adding to GitLab or any other uh, software to work with it. So I'm going to copy that to the clipboard and use it later and go back to Android Studio and here I've got Android Studio it's set up uh, some of the files I need to begin with and the first thing we want to do is go to version control and go down to um, import into version control and I want to create a git repository so I just say ok here and git will now be following uh, tracking the changes of this project so my next step, if I uh, was to add a change somewhere in this file, and then I save the change to the file, and I want to add, use git, and add uh, all these files to git for tracking, and then I want to commit the change. I'm going to try to commit. I'll get a message saying uh, what message do you want to give for this commit. So I'm going to say added the main activity. Um, I could add myself to the name as an author there, but I'm just going to say commit. Now I'm going to say there's a drop down arrow beside commit button there, and I'm going to say commit and push. I'm going to try to push the changes up. Uh, uh, Android Studio shows me that I haven't yet defined a remote location, a remote place to store my git, uh, my git files. So I want to click on that to find remote link, and I want to put in the URL that I copied earlier. So this is gitlab.eecs and the name of the project. And I'll just show you again where I got that from. So that's just in here, the main address to your GitLab project. So we choose this the origin, OK. And because I've got an SSH key already created, um, GitLab or uh, Android Studio and GitLab work together, and they didn't uh, they didn't bother asking me for a username or password. So now I can say here that uh, this is the this is the commit that's going to be pushed up to uh, GitLab. I just click the push button, and that should go up there. So get a message here saying the push was successful. And if I now was to go back and visit the project again, we'll just reload that page. I can see that there has been some activity on this project and that uh, Johnny added a, a commit with the message added the main activity. If I was going to repository, have a look at my files, I can see there's the file that was committed, main activity, and there's the code, and there's the wee change that I made to do something. So that's the workflow process. Uh, if you make as as you make more changes and add more files you can continue using the uh, git add and git commit uh, and then git push commands in order to uh, keep your code up to date up on the GitLab repository uh, that's it for now uh, see you later